of us are arjuns caught in their own flesh in their blood in their tears in their emotions in their past and being caught we forget what our dharma is as long as arjun lives within us we will continue to need krishna therefore bhagavad gita is immortal is there anything wrong with dreaming to how many of you is this question relevant how many of you have dreams to how many of us is this question relevant relevant almost to everybody right it's not only his question he may be mouthing it but it's everybody's question hmm how many of you had dreams some kinds of ambitions something that you want to become when you were say 4 or 5 years old mujhe to ye banna hai kuch kuch chhota bahut bhi plan tha this is what i want to become in life how many of you had something a fairly large number what was it that you wanted to become when you were 4 or 5 years old Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, astronaut. Astronaut. Yes. Fighter pilot. And come up, come up, speak. Huh? Cricketer. Doctor. Pilot. Pilot. Yeah, pilot. Engineer. Army. Soldier. Yes, 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 yes. Politician. Politician. Pilot. Yes. Actor. Anybody for truck driver? <laughs> no. Seriously, kids do want to become truck drivers. It's fascinating. Such a huge thing, and one man. I wanted to become Superman because he wears his underwear over his trousers, and that was so deeply fascinating. You can't imagine at your age now, eighteen, twenty, or too old. You can't imagine my fascination when I was five at wearing my. I used to do that actually. Got beaten a couple of times. Why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at me? My dreams. Why are you laughing at me? What right do you have to laugh at the dreams of a five-year-old? But today you want to laugh at it, right? Today you want to laugh at it, and today you'd throw me out of that window if you actually find that I raise my kurta <laughs> and my wearing and I'm wearing my. Brief over my pajama. You would say it's a mental retard coming and delivering a speech. Get rid of him. He'll corrupt everybody. <laughs> Send him to an asylum. That's where he belongs. That's what you do, right? Why? I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream. What right do you have to call me a mentally retarded person? I'm living my dream. They are girls who wanted to become Barbie dolls. Fascinated, Barbie. Why? Why laugh at them? Why laugh at them? Do you see what we are saying? Your dreams can only be as big as the expanse of your mind. the 5 year old knows nothing but policemen and army soldiers and astronauts and fighter pilots he would have seen a few movies there are these animated things that are now available hmm he would have been in touch with them and that's his entire universe so he's dreaming around it and he's very serious about his dreams mind you don't laugh at his dreams Don't laugh at his dreams. Today, at eighteen or twenty years of age, you want to laugh at the five-year-old. Why should this thirty-five-year-old not laugh at this twenty-year-old? If the twenty-year-old can laugh at the five-year-old, 
this 35 year old can laugh at the 20 year old. Can he or not? And then the 50 year old should laugh at this 35 year old and so on and so forth. <coughs> so on and so forth. Your dreams cannot be bigger than the contents of your mind. And life is forever a movement to permanently fix, rivet your future to one particular dream of a particular age at a particular time is to tell yourself that I will not grow any further. If the four year old child says that I will become nothing but the police officer, he is actually telling himself that I will grow no further. Because if I grow further, I may soon discover that there is a beautiful world beyond the police. But I have already decided that I will become nothing but the police officer. Now tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow I will grow. Tomorrow I will learn more. But I will reject that learning because I have already decided that I must be the police officer. Tomorrow will be dangerous. Tomorrow can shatter my dreams. Tomorrow will be dangerous. Tomorrow can shatter my dreams. And hence I will continuously live a dead life chasing a dream which I raised at one point in my life. I will remain closed to everything that is new. I will remain totally close to that. Are you getting what I am trying to say? You can only dream that much which is there in your mind. How many of you can dream of eating coca tua? You don't know what coca tua is. You won't dream. What if tomorrow you come across coca tua and find it to be fascinating? But you have already told yourself that I must dream of having a pizza. You have committed yourself to the pizza. Now coca tua, however fascinating, is of no use to you. Are you getting what I am trying to say? You have committed yourself completely to the pizza today. Who am I? I am a pizza eater. And I have committed that I will be eating pizzas all my life or one great day will come when I will have a go down full of pizza. But then you will have a very ugly situation in front of you, at your hands. You come across coca tua. Now what do you do? Coca tua is so beautiful, so nice. But you can't have coca tua. Because pizza is your dream. What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? Suffer. I was born in a family of bureaucrats. Both mother's side, father's side. I was class 6 or 7th when I started reading almost religiously the competition success review. It used to contain the interviews of IAS toppers. I must be an IAS officer. I must be an IAS officer. Dream. People go to IIT to become engineers. I went to IIT because most of the IAS toppers were ITLs. So I said, good. Most of the IAS toppers happen to be ITNs, so I must be an ITN. So I went to IIT. Look at the mind. Look at its manipulations. I didn't go to IIT to become an engineer. I went to IIT to become an IAS via the IIT. Now I write the examination, I also clear it, I get a rank, not IAS proper, one of the allied services, but I had attempts left, I could have tried again and gotten into an IAS posting with a better rank. However, I discover that this is not what it is, the process of preparation itself reveals to me that this is a very very small world, the bureaucracy, a very confined world. If I really want to do something, I must not be in the government. Those who really want to live a free life, those who really want to bring about a change, first in themselves, then in everything around, they must not be with the government. It was so difficult, you know, at that point, after the dream had been realized, to give it up. Almost like that committed husband. 
it was so difficult but that is what intelligence demands of you that even if you have it in your hands give it up if you find that it is not worth it i had to give it up i gave it up all your dreams are your limitations first of all they come from the past second they limit your present thirdly they are going to become your chains in the future this you could say is the entire set of possibilities that life offers that the universe offers and what are your dreams such a small subset such a small subset look at the universal set and look at the set of your dreams how many of you want to be living in a trap as small as that <coughs> how many of you are really eager to live in a trap like this how many of you i know it hurts it hurt me badly when i had to give up my dream but better <laughs> to do that early i put in 2 years of effort and then gave it up far better to not to have a fixed idea of the future and let it just flow it flows beautifully many of us dream just so that we have an aim to accomplish there must be something in life to chase that's why i must have a dream right i'm what am i doing i'm chasing my dreams that gives us something to live with so we nurture a dream but life does not work like that the functioning of life is a little different future arises spontaneously from the present if the present is taken care of a wonderful surprising unpredictable future rises from the present on its own you don't have to chase it it's like this that if i am listening to this session carefully today i will anyway get good marks in the minor exam i don't have to chase marks if i am attending the lectures rightly in the present in the future i will automatically do good in the exams i don't have to chase grades or you have to dream about grades there are two fellows here in this room one who is dreaming about getting a good grade the other who is not dreaming at all but is just listening who will get a better grade the one who is dreaming or the one who is just present dreaming actually takes you away from the present and hence away from the excellence dreaming prevents you from excelling do you need to dream to get good grades or do you just need to be present to what is happening yes <laughs> 